The first rule of using the prep center is to make sure that you have submitted a prep form prior to your items arriving at the prep center. The challenge comes into play when somebody purchases an item for sale that they've already listed and then when they go to submit the prep center form the item is gated or restricted from and by Amazon to being fulfilled via FBA. So we've put in place a recommendation and a suggestion. It is not a requirement. It is just simply a recommendation and a suggestion that you do not purchase an item until you have submitted the prep form. If you submit the prep form first and it is successfully submitted, then you know that that item can successfully be purchased and sent to the prep center and then be forwarded to Amazon on your behalf. What happens is that items arrive at the prep center without a prep form, and then as the user, you're subject to a $40 admin fee. Now, I should mention that the prep center team hates having to send emails stating that there is no prep plan and that we have to charge you an admin fee. But the reality is that there's an incredible amount of work that needs to be done the flow of the prep center stopped when an item arrives without a prep form. It might not make a lot of sense simply because you're unfamiliar with how the flow of the prep center works. But at the end of the day, we have to stop the process of prepping the students that have properly submitted a prep center form. And it requires an incredible amount of work and time. And that's what the admin fee is for. Now, I also want to talk about some of the most recent issues or challenges that have arisen as a result of the prep form so that there is no confusion. Number one, if you accidentally send an item to the prep center that is your personal item, let's say you just forget to change the shipping address of something that you're purchasing from a retailer and it goes to the prep center. Well, we understand that mistakes happen, obviously. However, you need to understand that that's a package that shows up at the prep center without a prep form. So the team will email you and provide you with the dimensions of that item. You will then email the prep center a return shipping label to have that item sent wherever it needs to be sent to, and you need to pay the admin fee. That admin fee must be paid within five business days to avoid your package being discarded. The prep center is not a warehouse. We just don't have the space to hold on to your items that were sent to the prep center without a plan and perhaps they were sent that way because of an accident and an issue. And again, we understand that. But remember that any item for any reason that shows up at the prep center without a plan requires that additional work. And I want to talk about one other situation that seems to be happening from time to time. And that is somebody will send an email to the prep center requesting that the items that they have a plan for and that are on the way to Amazon not be sent to Amazon and be sent back to you. And obviously you're willing to send us that return label to do so. Here's the challenge. The prep center team is in the prep center receiving boxes from UPS, FedEx, DHL, and USPS, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes on a daily basis. The prep center team in the warehouse has no ability to stop one package from being sent to Amazon based on an email request that you've made. So if you submit a prep form for an item that you don't want to be sent to Amazon, you need to be aware that it will be sent to Amazon if there's a plan. If you send an item to the prep center that you don't want sent to Amazon, the only way for that item to not be sent to Amazon is for you to delete that prep plan. Now, you need to understand that if you delete the prep plan, then you're going to be subject to a $40 admin fee. And we've had some students that think this is completely unfair. They say, well, why do I have to pay an admin fee for not having a prep form when I submitted a prep form? And the answer is because you want your items returned to you and you want to stop the flow of the process. So we understand and we're happy to do the work for you, but understand that what you're asking for goes beyond the day-to-day -day activities of the prep center. And if somebody has to stop 
and do that additional work for you and someone else's package does not get prepped as a result, there is an admin fee for that. So let me repeat that process. If you send an item to the prep center and there's no plan, obviously you pay an admin fee. That makes sense for whatever the reason is. The prep center reaches out to you, you pay the $40 or whatever the admin fee is and you'll send in the label and the item will get sent back to you. But if you have an item that arrives at the prep center with a plan, it will get sent to Amazon. If you don't want that item sent to Amazon, then you have to delete the plan. Otherwise, the prep center will not know, the team will not know that your item should not be sent. There is no way to stop a package that is in, in process with a prep plan. It's just not possible. So I understand that it seems odd and feels uncomfortable because you did your part. But if you want the prep center to go above and beyond and do something different, and of course, this is all outlined in the terms and use of the prep center, but I wanted to just remind you of how it works so there's no confusion and no frustration. If you send an item to the prep center and there's a plan, it goes to Amazon. If you send an item to the prep center and you want it stopped and not sent to Amazon, then you must delete that plan. Once you've deleted the plan before the item arrives, by the way, you delete the plan and you'll be subject to the admin fee. And then the process will continue where the team will email you to let you know that you need to pay the fee. They'll provide you the link and they'll provide you the dimensions for the return label. Listen, the Prep Center is an incredible resource. It is insanely valuable for everyone in our Internet Mastery community. In order for it to flow effectively and to work properly the way it was designed, we just want to make sure that everybody understands the process. We recognize that issues and mistakes happen. At the same time, these are not issues and mistakes of the prep center. And so the admin fee would be required in any of those situations uh, that I have outlined. So I hope that clears it up. It might not be the most exciting news, but the reality is that when you're looking at submitting plans, for example, uh, if you just simply submit the plan before you buy the item, you'll never have an item show up at the prep center without a plan. If you are driving the speed limit, you can never be stopped for speeding. This is just rule number one, basic process. Do not send an item to the prep center without a plan. And the simplest and best way to do that is to submit the plan before you buy the items.